Say hi. Say good morning, mi amor. Di buenos días. Say buenos días. Hi. That's my whoa. That's my son. Oh, baby. Hi guys. Well, you can't even see my light. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Like, I need to get better about like recording and posting. It's just I don't want to say it's hard because I feel like that's just like making up excuses. I need to put the handle on this, but it's just been like nice, like focusing on him, and that's it. And we actually all just went like underneath under the weather a little bit. We all had like um, just like a cough and a dry um, throat. Uh, yeah, um, nothing too bad. It's just it's the first time he got sick, and it was really sad. Even though we tried really hard not to, like Alonso would stay away from us and everything like that, like wearing a mask. But uh, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, I wanted to come on here because today I'm sharing with you his five month update. I can't believe he's five months already. Um. It's been amazing. I'll show you guys too. I'll show him to you guys right now. So the Lizzie, me gusta estar aquí, but he gets impatient. Yeah, see, like he loves moving, like on the floor. So let's go do that right now. Just put baby Enzo down. It was time for his nap. Um, he had been up for almost like two hours. His wake windows are now like almost two hours. Um, sometimes if he's really like fussy, he'll like go to bed like at an hour and a half or so. But I'm here on the computer working, but I just wanted to hop on real quick and kind of just mention like how it's been these past, this past month um, and kind of like what he's learned to do. Um, I'm so excited, but yeah, baby Enzo has pretty much just, oh my god, I feel like he's a full speed baby. Um, if I recall from the last one, he had already been rolling over, he's been rolling over since he was like three months, 
and he had been like okay so when he was really tiny when he was a month um he like loved kicking when he was at tummy time like he just like was like wanting to do that and he was like really little so what we would do we would always put our hands behind his feet um and he'd use it as support and he'd like in essence kind of like crawl but like by kicking us um yeah he was really tiny but he just has always been like really really strong um so then fast forward like he's been trying to do that um and now he this past month he like will go on all fours meaning like both of his little hands and his knees and he'll bear crawl he'll push up um and he'll go on his um tippy toes and this is being recorded like two days after he turned um five months but um yesterday he actually like went on his um toes with his arm like that and he like took like a step like he took one step and then kind of like um went to his knees like kind of like kind of like crawling but like using your leg and then going back down um he did that and i was like like and it's, it's crazy or like you know those um bobby pillows he was sitting on it and i'm practicing like sitting like he does sit, um, he's learning a lot better, like, well, he will sit, like, if he has a little, um, like, the one where you feed him, um, it's, like, a portable one, I think I showed it in the picture, but, um, that little chair, high chair, well, it's not a high chair, because it's, like, a portable, you can put it anywhere, um, the little one, I think it's called a bumbo, I think that's what it's called, let me see, yeah, it's called a bumbo, so on that thing, um, he'll sit on it perfectly fine and he doesn't fall down um, So he can sit by himself, but like it I mean by himself like without being on a chair um, So he does do that and he'll sit there for a little bit until he like after a few like Seconds maybe like a minute he'll like fall down So that's what we've been practicing and I put him on that um, the bobby pillow so I put him in the middle <coughs> and he was getting frustrated because he was kind of like, I don't like being, he like, he just likes to move. So he gets frustrated if he's like, he doesn't have the opportunity to move. Um, hold on, I need to drink this because my throat hurts. So, um, he was going back, um, and it was like, maybe like this much, obviously inkling because like of the bobby pillow, but he literally went all the way back and he was getting mad because he couldn't pick himself up. He was like, you know? And then finally he was like, like, he, and he literally went all the way back and he picked himself all the way up and it was too dramatic that he like went forward. <laughs> it was really funny. Um, so yeah, he's been doing, so practicing like, you know, sitting up by himself, which is crazy. Um, you know, like you don't want to compare it with your baby, but like they had told us that he was like really tiny, like. He was really like small for his age um at like two months three months um so we were always like you know like he's like little and like we're we shouldn't expect him to do like anything because like he's not big you know he's like he's a little baby and then to see him like just like you know rolling over like right when he turned three months or we're talking like two months practically like he was he would get mad that he wasn't rolling over um and then, like, right then and there, he went on his crib, um, like, the, at the, that week that he turned three months, um, oh my, it's just, like, it all just happened so fast, and then when he turned, um, four months, he was just on the move, um, like, he would, like, go from here to, like, all the way the opposite of the living room, rolling, um, wasn't even, like, crawling yet, um, now he actually, like, does like i'll show a video of him um yesterday when i was reading to him he was trying to get this um sign and he was just like like he uses his arm so he'll like army crawl um he will go on all fours and he'll like sway like this and he like wants to like take a, a step with his with his knees but he doesn't fully do it yet um but yeah no he's just he's active he's way too active um as far as like food our pediatrician said like not to give him any food until he can like fully sit on his own and like he does for the most part like in his chair but um i'm just kind of going slow um i have given him food like 
like let's say we're eating something like i'll give him something just so he can taste it but it's more of just like tasting than actually like giving it to him he does like it though he like likes things in his mouth um and he'll look at us kind of like i want that we've been trying to um start that a little bit um i was kind of hoping like six months to do that um but i mean like i gave him some yesterday um it's just it's more like if i see him being curious about it and that's what she said she's like if he's curious about it and he kind of wants some like give him some so yeah we did that i think he's at an age right now where he like knows who we are and like he's been doing this since he was really little but when he sees his dad oh my god like i like want to cry sometimes um because it just it melts my heart um he will just like the biggest smile on his face and he will literally just be like so happy just like he like loves this man like he just and obviously he like does that when he sees me too and he doesn't see me but he's always with me so it's not like he's like oh my god you know like my mom's home like i'm always with him so i'm super grateful for that because honestly it's so hard like trying to balance a career and have a baby because you like just really want to appreciate the time like you know like everything else will keep going and like they'll still like you won't be able to get that time back you know um so yeah it's just been it's been beautiful and i'm just like way grateful for it um i love it like it's a beautiful experience to finally be a mom um after so many years of waiting like uh, every little thing i just like love it um and he's so handsome <laughs> anyways enough talk about that yeah i need to like actually sit down and make some videos but i'm currently working on some stuff i don't know if i've ever mentioned it but like i'm trying to go back to school and i'm like nervous about mentioning it because like it's scary when you don't like, get accepted you know and you're like it's scary to face your failures but yeah i've just been working on that stuff it's trying to like go back to school um and we'll see how that happens so i have a ton of applications too um but i'm really excited because like i really want to bring you guys along and kind of like the journey if i do get accepted and like just how it's all going to be balancing you know going to school being a mom and a wife just kidding i'm not a wife <laughs> But you know what I mean. Well, I'll mention like about his um, <clears throat> his sleeping. He's been sleeping the entire night since he was probably like three months, two months. Um, he was the first month, like month one or two. But month two to three, I was like, he kept waking up like at two in the morning. Um, now he doesn't um, since like two to three months, right? You know, three to three to four months um he like finally went back to his normal schedule so he'll go to bed at seven earliest at 6 30 and then he will sleep um we'll wake him up at like 10 9 ish um give him a dream feed and then he'll be asleep all the way till like six or seven in the morning um and then during the day he does take his three naps and he's been taking the he actually he wasn't really great at taking the four naps um when he was a little bit smaller just because he would be like fussy like the last nap or his bedtime he was fussy now he goes to bed fine yeah, he does do his three nap oh i'm still continuing to breastfeed i've been breastfeeding like full time um and it's just more on demand sometimes like i was doing it like every three hours but like lately he like will eat and then he'll like want a little bit more before he goes to bed like oh i saw not even to bed it's like an hour after like he'll be like i didn't have enough and i'll give him more um but that's pretty much it we don't really get him bottle he would when um he'd go over to my mom's house like when i'd go physically into work but like i haven't gone for a while um and he oh in that night time um i need to do a night routine because like i know what i really like like we do things together um he'll come home and he'll take care of the baby like changing his diaper and stuff like that but like we do we bathe them together um i'll pump last night like the, at night 
a pump um, right before he's supposed to get his dream feed, and then Alonso will feed him that one. Um, so we just like we tagged him like everything we do together. So I probably will do that. Like, let me know if you guys want to see that. Um, it hasn't changed, so like, don't think because he's older that a routine has changed. It's still been the same exact one since he was like three months. Obviously, when he was two months, who wants to pick up a camera and record that because. Or like one month because like obviously he was like really tiny and he had like you know you're trying to figure it out <laughs> um anyway so that's pretty much it um oh i forgot to mention that i keep forgetting to mention things we did um give him like some food um just like an apple to try i probably insert that here too so you guys can see him he was like super curious about it um that was probably his first thing that he ever ate was an apple I wanted to be an avocado, but we didn't have avocados by that time. And he looked like he wanted something like, you know, like, that looks good. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, make sure to do a like, comment, and subscribe.